when iron rusts, solid iron reacts with gaseous oxygen to form solid iron trioxide. Write a balanced chemical equation for this reaction. So this is a little bit tricky because they did not give you any of the molecular formulas of any of the reactants. So we're gonna have to pull them from the question. So, uh, so solid iron, so that's our one reactant with gaseous oxygen, that's our second, and our product is iron trioxide. So solid iron just means it is the element iron on its own, that's it. It's solid, like it said in the question. It's good to include the states of matter as well, especially if they are given to you in the question. It reacts with gaseous oxygen, so that's atmospheric oxygen, so that is just O2, which is a gas. And it is going to form iron trioxide. So this is iron 2O3. So the way you figure out um, how the molecular formula is, especially when it's written out like this, so iron has 3, is 3 plus, oxygen is 2 minus, so you just cross them over to get iron 2. O3. So now in balancing the chemical equation, it is easier to balance out um, all the other elements other than oxygen or hydrogen first. So if we're going to balance out iron, so we have two iron on the product, uh, one iron on the reactants, so we're just going to multiply that by two. Uh, but now we have two oxygens and three oxygens on versus reactants versus products. So that means we're going to have to multiply by a common number between the two to end up with equivalent on each side. So here we will multiply it by two. So that'll give two times three gives six. So if we want six oxygens on the reactant side, we will multiply by three. But now we gave ourselves four iron atoms on the product side. So we just need to change this two to a four. Um, so four irons on the reactant side, four irons on product, six oxygens on reactants, six oxygens on the products. So this is now a balanced chemical equation. So it is always helpful to double check at the end just to make sure uh, everything balanced out correctly.